Real Housewives of New Jersey star Teresa Giudice is out of prison in time for the holidays. The reality star has been behind bars for nearly a year after pleading guilty to fraud charges. She reportedly spent the remainder of her sentence under house arrest. Paula Reed joins us now from Washington with more on this. Paula, why the early release? Well, Carolyn, it's not uncommon for federal inmates to get out early, but you're not fully free. She's on what is called home confinement. So she'll be very limited in terms of where she can go when she leaves her house. And Bravo TV has confirmed that she will wear an electronic ankle monitoring bracelet. Now, when her home confinement is up in early February, she will then serve a period of two years of supervised release. Anything else you can tell us about the rules of her house arrest? There's a lot of questions about whether or not she would be able to continue with the Real Housewives franchise. Her lawyer tells us that publicly, he says that there's no reason that she can't continue her contract with Bravo. But as a journalist and an attorney, I can tell you one of the most important things about home confinement and supervised release is you need to stay out of trouble. And for those of us that really enjoy the Real Housewives franchise, we know that trouble, including fights, fights that sometimes get physical, mm. is a big part of the series. Let's talk about this. She had an expensive Christmas present waiting for her when she got home, a $90,000 Lexus. For someone in Teresa's situation, with cameras following her around, everything she'd been accused of, was this a very good idea? I can tell you from reporting on other uh, reality TV stars who've gotten themselves in trouble with the law, the judges watch reality TV. And I have seen in previous cases where judges cite in court papers that they saw one of these individuals violate the law or the terms of their probation on reality TV. So for someone in her situation, you want to be very careful. She was in prison for bankruptcy fraud charges. You want to be very careful with any kind of expensive purchase because some judges are watching. Paula Reed, thank you so much. We appreciate it.